Listen here. This morning, I was saying Holland here in this window. In the middle of Holland, I see two birds come here standing on the window. Just one second. He's singing, and suddenly my voice was, in the middle, I started singing loud, and my voice got shut down. I couldn't sing. I think to myself, I should press myself to sing strong loud to arouse the rest of the congregation to sing. What's the point of singing loud? My heart has to be singing. I was speaking while I'm davening halal in my heart. And suddenly, I said, but what's my value? Imagine, Bezat Hashem, at the right time, we'll leave this world. What, what I did in my world, I'm sitting in, I'm singing to Hashem Hallel. I'm really happy with Hashem's gift that He gave me a position to teach Torah, to be a Rosh Hashiva, have hell, have children. I'm thinking all those thoughts in my mind. So I want to thank Hashem, but I, but I don't have a voice. So there's a point of singing or not. And I'm reading the words here, and some of the words made a lot of sense to me. This is what it says in the singing of Hallel. Hashem blesses the house of Israel. Ashomayim, Shomayim la Hashem, the heaven is heaven for God. The Oretz no Samid Meodo, the land he gave for people. Lo Amesi Mia Hallelujah, called dead people cannot sing God to God anymore. Why? Imagine I'm, I'm thinking in my mind, I'm going to die. If I leave the world, what did I do? What I did in my life? I sang to Hashem. What I did? I taught Torah. How much I teach Torah? I really, so I don't have a voice. I should train myself to sing. What is this all about? But it says, no, I may see Yalukov, the people that are dead cannot sing. I'm thinking about my father. He's in Arazay. He this all I'm thinking, all quick in my mind. Oh, my father's already gone, and he can't sing, but I can sit and sing, but I'm also going to die one day. So it's only momentarily. So what's my value? So about the dead people cannot sing. The local of the Duma, all those people go to down to the head again and cannot sing. The Anarchon, we can bless and sing. I start to rush. I lose my voice and I push myself. And when I'm thinking those words, I see suddenly two birds come to the, to the window and they start squiggling. I said, wow, I remember the Medrash. And I want to talk about this Medrash, which the Rosh Hashim, my father, bless his memory, he spoke about it many times. I don't know what the Pshat he gave, the Kasha I remember, but I got the answer. I said, wow, I understand the answer. I was so happy and I started singing out. I'm happy I understood this Medrash. This Gemara, listen carefully. The Gemara says that David Amelech was singing songs to God. Zoho Daito Shad David Amelech. David Amelech felt good about himself. Look, I'm singing so many songs. What? The frog came. Right. You heard of him many times. Spoke about it a hundred times, at least. He was all happy. Look where I am. I'm singing songs to God. And I'm sitting here. I'm singing. I'm alive. I can sing songs to God. I can sing loud. I can arouse people to sing. I'm all happy doing Hashem's will. So what Hashem did, Hashem sent them the frog. He said, listen, you know how many songs a frog sings every day to God? How many? 3,000. 3,000. I don't know why the Gemara chose a number, but that's what it says in Chazal. What? Oh, by that was they bring apostle, right. Apostle. That every frog sings every day to God, no 3,000 songs. It's a different song. Maybe take a microscope, who knows, or phone, microscope. They can really, who knows, really define those little quickies that he does. It's not the same. It's different symbols, different, who knows, but it's not the same. 3,000 different voices. Every day, no. Who you are, David Amelie. This is what the Medrash says. Everybody who reads this Medrash cannot figure it out. I'm thinking in Halloween. My father was right. What's the point? Those two birds are singing. But there are birds that be created for that. I'm alive. God shouldn't give the Torah to heaven. He gave to man. I can choose to sing. I can choose not to sing. Can the frog choose not to sing? Yes. Maybe yes. Maybe not. They jumped into the... But that's their job. They've been created for that. So that's, that's natural. It's all natural. So by me, it's not natural. We have free choice. We have freedom. So what kind of, what kind of knockout, a slap, that Hashem is giving David Amelech. She's giving, hey, David Amelech, you are happy, you think good about yourself. One little frog sings more songs to you, more songs than you. This is the kasha that I couldn't figure out. It's pears and apples. No comparison. This is what the, the, has been created for. He does what he's created, he understands. The frog, 
and is natural by hand. It makes those no daytime in voice. And by me, I can be silent. I even sing. My voice is out. I have to miss, put myself to sing. And I'm, I'm thinking, I'm, uh, dead people cannot sing. I'm alive. I'm my free choice. So what's the comparison? My one song of mine is no comparison to 10 million thousand songs of, of a frog. So what's the comparison? What kind of slap that Hashem is giving David Amalek by saying, listen, a frog can sing more than you. Don't, don't feel good about yourself. <laughs> I feel very good about myself. I'm not like Loyal de Duma, those people in the grave and not they can't sing a word to God. I guess that's what the Postbook says. La me sing Yalong We are alive. We can sing. We have a choice. We sing to Hashem. We better. No comparison. What, what, what kind of slap is that? I was thinking, I'm looking at those two birds looking at each other. And suddenly I thought, thinking of the Medrash and maybe the solution, they fly away. I said, if Hashem did that, if they must, Hashem wants to give me an answer. And to this medrash, I, I understand this medrash. Wow! Wow! And then I start singing louder. Ah, my voice was cut. I tried to put, scream, whatever. I said, ah, I understand the medrash. Very deep, listen careful, God of Hashem. Hashem is telling, Domina Melech, you didn't reach your potential. That's what it means. True is your free choice. But when you know what God created you, that you have to understand, through understanding you making a decision, how much did you push yourself with your free choice? This I push all what I can, that's not true. A man, the way God created man, a human being, that you, once you have the understanding of free choice, you can go back to your core essence like a frog. That by a frog is natural without understanding. By human being, well, without understanding, he has the really potential powers in his being, because we all say uh, 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 an animalistic being, to go ahead and quick and sing songs 3,000 every day. And you talk about that you reach that potential, don't think good about yourself. This way. Sure. And these, there's no comparison. Those are, those are natural. These are human beings, free choice. We can bless Hashem. Dead people cannot sing. True. How much did you put in for Hashem? Did you put, did you really return to your essence of being, who you really are, and elevate your minimalistic being to sing 3,000 songs every day? If you didn't get to that level, you really re didn't reach your potential. That's what it means. Wow, I was happy. So, wow, I've been listening all day. <laughs> really? Okay, I said, at least I'll say that Musa was in the yeshiva. I said, I must say it in public. I got the shot in the mentorship. So those two birds went and said, ah, now I understand. Now we have to sing to Hashem. We're going to start Minche Bezat Hashem. We're saying, Ashe, Simcha, now we started the month of Adam, the month of happiness. So we have to sing new songs of Ashe, not just the normal Ashe we sing every week, every day. We have to sing a song of, of the new 3000. Otherwise, we out. We have business. So let's hear. Beautiful. Amen. In Asher.